Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about how to create a very simple Android game using Java. To getting started with this, you should know some basic understanding about Java development as well as Android development. So in this video let's just create a play button and navigate into a game view and draw something inside the game view. So here I am creating a new project and naming it simple Android game. I'm giving empty activity so let's go to the layout file here let's remove it the hello world thing and create a new button now let's give the center alignment for that button Here I am changing the button ID as play button and here I am changing the text to play. Let's go to the activity and here let's add listener for that button. Find view by ID. Yeah, we named it like play button, right? So here I am adding listener. What should happen when the button is clicked? We need to give that code inside that on click. For that let's create a new activity. Let's name it game activity. Finish. So to show the content inside the game activity we need to create a game view. Let's create a simple android view. Creating new class naming game view. Ok. Let's extend the basic view. Let's import. Yeah, it's asking to implement constructor so let's implement the constructor here we need to override two methods one is draw and the other is on touch event we'll see later what we are going to do here so here we need to give true so that it will return all the actions let's draw draw some color inside the canvas inside the whole view here i am drawing yellow color color dot yellow yeah that's it so now we have created game activity and view uh, here we are setting the content of game activity i am directly giving the view object here so that the view will be visible when the activity is started. So now move to our pod on click listener. Here we need to navigate to the game activity, right? So here I'm creating intent for that. New intent. Need to keep context to here. Game activity dot class, right? What's wrong? Oh, we are inside on click listener. So let's give us main activity dot this and start activity. Start activity with the intent. Okay, let's run the program and see what happens. Here we just draw a color inside our game view. Let's check the navigation 
from play button to game view here we have a play button on clicking on play we are navigating into the game view so everything is fine right now let's, so now let's draw something else on top of the yellow background so here let's draw a circle for that I'm going to create a circle class and create a circle object like that we can draw a circle here I'm gonna create a new class named circle what are the parameters we have in circle they are x y and radius here the x and y are the center point of the circle so let's create a circle object circle and create it inside constructor assign the position for circle let's give 100 100 100 so the circle will be drawn in the position 100 100 with the radius of 100 Here, let's draw the circle by calling using canvas. There is a method called draw circle in canvas. So, let's make use of it. Canvas dot draw circle. Here, I'm giving x and y position with radius. And there is another argument we need. That is paint object. For drawing any item using canvas, we need we might need a paint object. Here I'm creating a paint object and let's give some color for the paint. Set color, let's give red color. And there are some properties in paint we can set like this helps filtering. to make our drawing smoother. So let's give true for the two flags and draw our circle using the created paint. So now we are running the program. Let's check. I'm clicking play. Yeah, we can see the circle in the position of hundred comma hundred. now let's add some more items to our game view let's add some touch events for our circle what, what we can add is we can just move our circle wherever we touch on our screen actually so for that whenever the on touch event is invoked let's change the circle position I'm just changing I'm just changing the circle X and Y to the touch position we can get the touch position using the motion event object by calling event dot get X and get Y so now let's run the program and see what happens yeah now I'm clicking on screen but it's not moving yeah let's check what's the problem yeah here we haven't given any re repaint actions actually we need to call invalidate so that our draw method will be called again so that our screen will be updated now let's check the behavior clicking play yeah 
Now the circle moves to wherever we touch on our screen. Yeah. The behavior is cool now. So in the next video, we will be implementing some more game logics and scoring options as well. If you have any questions or suggestions, please write them in the comment below. Thank you for watching.